All right, welcome back. Um, let's set up a three point light setup. Uh, first of all, um, this is the uh, final image that we uh, want to get. You can see it's, uh, it looks quite, ni quite nice, uh, even though it's a sphere, it looks yeah, pretty interesting. So the light um, makes something that is quite simple look really good. Um, three point lighting is probably the um, most common lighting that well everybody uses because it works quite well and you can modify it in a lot of ways um, that yeah fits your scene in the end. So this is the finished scene that we're going to set up now. Um, so let's uh, create a new scene on Blender and let's start going. So we need uh, obviously a plane for the ground. Uh, I will add a sphere that is going to serve as our um, main object. I will give it a subdivision and a smooth shading because um, most models that you want to um, show in this type of uh, lighting are organic models. Um, that is because three-point lighting works best when you have uh, round shapes that show every angle um, of an object. So now we have the sphere, let's add a camera. <coughs> From front view, let's move it a bit more up and rotate it a bit. Go a bit more in and scale the plane further up. So, yeah, just rotating. Okay, there we go. Uh, this is our basic setup. Um, we have um, the sky as the only light source right now. So um, this is what it looks like if we uh, were to render this now, which looks quite decent. Um, yeah, but um, it's not really interesting. It's too dark, it's, yeah. It doesn't look that great, uh, so to say. So let's add a, a sun lamp for our so-called key light. Key light actually yeah, mimics the sun. <laughs> uh, that's, that's all that is to say there. Um, I will let it come from the left top and then hit our object and I will give it a yellowish tone and set the strength to three, which um, will work fine. So um, this key light is probably the um, most important light because it is the light that well makes everything visible in the scene. Um, yeah, that way you can see the broad detail and yeah, the, the overall structure pretty well. Um, so this is what it looks like, and it looks, yeah, essentially like a like a sun. Nothing, nothing more to say. Okay, uh, now let's add the so-called fill light, which is an area lamp, which comes from the uh, right-hand side, but isn't um, and is quite big. So I will scale this a bit up. Um which will have a well bluish color, I suppose. And 100 works quite fine for this scene. If it's further away, you need to um, uh, crank that value a bit more up, but um, for this, it works quite fine. And this is uh, what the fill light uh, looks on itself, so without the key light. So it is sort of uh, mimicking uh, the environment lighting. Uh, but the uh, nice thing is that it doesn't affect the area where the um, key light is sitting. So it is, yeah, uh, making the shadows a bit brighter, making everything um, not too dark. So yeah, that is the fill light. Uh, and this is the uh, combined version of uh, fill light and key light. And this almost looks 
good. I, you, you could make a scene using this, no doubt. Um, but uh, we have another light to add, which is the third one on our list. And that is the um, backlight. So let's add a sun lamp for that again. Let's see. Um, I want this to be quite aligned with the ground. Yeah. And then I want one from the uh, left hand side on the back and one from the right hand side from the back. Now we need to crank up the uh, strength a bit. Um, let's go to five roundabout. You can use more and use a whitish color. So this is uh, what the um, backlight looks on its own. And this is George's. I, <laughs> I don't know, but I just uh, love backlights. They are being used in movies a lot um, to well get the uh, main object and yeah, give it a border in some sort to, to make it stand more out. And that is really nice because that way, yeah, the focus is really on the main object. So, and this is the combined version. Uh, yeah, you can see it. It is lit, the shadows aren't too dark and it has a nice border. And those are the three act, uh, aspects that make this three point lighting look so good. Okay, so that is the basic setup. Um, you can go and test this now. Um, but I want to show you some scenes um, to make you understand how I modify this and how I uh, make this uh, work in some of my scenes. Okay. Okay, um, the first one is our Halloween scene. And um, yeah, I modified all these scenes. So. Um, let's replace this house with a sphere, a simple sphere. Um, by the way, you can see the lighting a bit more and from every angle. So, uh, this sphere essentially has a, a key light from the uh, right top and a fill light from the uh, left hand side. So, the key light is uh, whitish because I wanted to just well keep the color of um, the object and the left hand side is red to make it stand more out because uh, the scene overall is quite greenish and if you have a red spot in there you obviously uh, want to look at that so that's color theory again um, also there's this uh, very very bright greenish spot down there which almost looks like a circle um, that is where the uh, person stands in the scene so it doesn't apply that well in this one but I guess you can see that uh, you can apply the um, principle of key light and fill light pretty easily. Next one on our list is the um, villa, the Italian villa that I did. And this one actually has just a backlight. It has a very, very um, slight uh, key light as well, but you don't really notice that. Um, and yes, the, uh, the backlight really makes it feel pretty surreal like nighttime moonish kind of um yeah uh lighting so it is pretty pretty interesting um but not really good for showing off all the detail uh, you miss a lot because it's it's too dark at some spots okay and the last one is uh, our wally scene and this is a very very good example for three point lighting um, let's replace him and you can see that the um, sphere actually has three different lit areas. So these are our three lights. Uh, on the right hand side you have the fill light which is bluish of course. Uh, pretty straightforward. On the left hand side you have a orangish um, key light which uh, mimics um, the sky in a way. So on the right hand side you have quite blue sky and on the left hand side orange sky. So it looks like a reflection on, uh, of that, but it actually is a, a separate light source, of course. And on top uh, you can see the backlight. This doesn't really look that much like a backlight 
because it takes up a lot of um, area on a sphere but if we um, go back to Wally -E, you can see that the top part of a cube um, that is the part that is being affected by this is uh, rather small so it, it works fine as a um, backlight um, so this is it about lighting um, I hope you learned something and see you next time where we go over the um, what are possibilities to create fog in Blender.